Okay, everybody. So what we have here is one of those um, Fate Electric LED light bulbs. Um, this particular bulb was from 2016. Um, I bought it um, just around the time we were getting ready to move here, or I guess after my folks had closed on the house. And um, I had put this in several fixtures around the house. Um, this particular light was in was in a lamp in the family room. Um, it, it, it's a two lamp bulb. It, it's a two lamp bulb. It's a it's a two bulb lamp, and uh, basically. Um, we only ever used one of the bulbs the most because it was on a timer. So, and this is the bulb that got the most usage. The other bulb in the lamp was almost never used, so it's still fine. But um, we also have we also have these bulbs just for record um, in in the basement, so that, that I'm in right now, and also the three ceiling lights in the garage also had this bulb as well. And what I noticed was just about a week or so ago, in um, or sometime in, in mid to late November, uh, the, the it was around. I don't know, six o'clock in the evening, and it was really dark, and the the lamp wasn't on, and I was like, oh that's, "Oh, that's weird." I'm thinking maybe my folks turned off the lamp, so I pulled on the chain on the lamp, nothing happened. So I was like, "Huh?" So I tried the other bulb. Other bulb comes on, comes on fine. So I was like, "Oh, look at that! This actually failed." Now, um, to be fair, it actually it did last eight years because I got it around October 2016, and uh, so I, yeah, so eight years we had it, and um, this bulb did, did get a lot of usage. It basically. Um, it was on every single day, um, and how long it was on de depended on, obviously, um, the amount of daylight outside, depending on what season it was. So, uh, so um, all things said, this bulb did have a lot of usage, and for eight years it isn't bad. But there is one thing I did notice um, when it had failed. And uh, let me go ahead and show you exactly what I'm talking about here. So as you can see, here, um, let me say this, I forgot if I mentioned this, um, the, um, the, the lamp bulbs in that lamp are, um, are, are mounted horizontally. So basically, um, this is the part of the, the bulb that faced down in the fixture, and um, you'll see why I did that in a moment. So I'm going to put it in my hand here. Now if you notice, you can probably kind of see some of that um, crack in the fixture there, huh? I'm going to turn it around this way, and look, look, at, the, look at that. And check this out. Oh, <laughs> see that right there? Oh, yeah. So basically, so the, the way I'm holding the bulb now, this is how the bulb was exactly mounted in the, um, in the lamp. Uh, this side of the bulb was facing up. Now, why do I think this happened? Well, some of, you may, some of you might remember, and I'll throw a link in the video description, I made a video back in early 2018 of about um, do LED bulbs get hot when they operate? And I did mention that um, the, these um, Fate Electric, I think that's how you say the word, I'm not, I was never really sure. These Fate Electric bulbs, they get pretty hot in this plastic part of the bulb here. And I even showed on my um, thermometer just how hot it got. It, it may have been, um, you'll have to reference the video, but it may, it may have been like a 170 degrees Fahrenheit, which is really hot. So I mean, yeah. Um, and considering this side of the bulb is, is, is what was facing up, yeah, I think to say the heat from this bulb caused this plastic to crack like that. You see that? Now, um, the, uh, oh darn, where's, where was I going with that? Yeah, and um, I don't think this crack just happened in, a, in an instant. I, I think this happened over time, and eventually, I don't know, I think something gave out on the side, because when I felt the bulb when it wasn't working, it was, complete, it was completely cool to the touch all around. So I don't think it was the diodes that went bad. I think something in here physically broke, and now it's a completely open circuit, which is why the bulb was completely cool to the touch. So, um... So you can see, um, we also have other parts in this house that, like I said, that that have these bulbs. Uh, basically, uh, the the other bulb in the lamp is still this kind of bulb. The bulbs in the basement are this. The, the bulbs in the basement are this kind, and also the ceiling bulbs in the garage. Just again for reference. Now, um, I did replace that bulb in the uh, lamp with, with those um, glass LED bulbs, the ones from EcoSmart that I told you about. Um, and so far, I've had very good luck with those bulbs. I've had some bulbs since 2019, and they're still working today. So, I mean, that's definitely good. Now, some of you may ask, why did I go with this bulb and not the glass ones at the time? Well, at that time, this is all you had. There were no glass 100-watt equivalent LED bulbs. And this is 100-watt equivalent. I don't know if I said that. And, um, yeah, there were no glass 100-watt equivalent LED bulbs at the time. So this is all I had to – this is all I was able to get. And as far as I know, those glass bulbs from EcoSmart, or just glass ones in general, didn't come out until 2019. So it was quite, it was a little couple of, two, a few years before I was even able to get them. So this was the best thing I had at the time. And I'm really glad that they came out with those um, glass bulbs, because as you can see here, this plastic stuff, obviously, no light comes through. And that's one thing I really did not like about these LED bulbs, even though the ones in the basement do, do a good job. But, you know, we'll see how the plastic holds up over time. 
But, um, so for continuous use, does this happen to all these bulbs? I don't know. And that being said, actually, um, I know this for quite a while now. You can't find these bulbs anymore. I don't know if this is because of the reason or because they just stopped making them. I don't know. But, yeah, so basically, anytime one of these bulbs go out, I mean, this is the first one that's gone out, but if any of these bulbs go out, I'm just replacing them with the glass, um, 100 watt equivalent LEDs because they actually look like a regular light bulb, which is awesome. Now, before anyone says, you know, in the basement or whatever, just make all your basement bulbs uh, incandescent, okay, let's think about that for a moment, all right? I counted it. There's thir there are 13 bulbs down here in the basement, okay? Um, simple math, 13 times 100 is 1,300 watts. So using that much power just to have light down here, not worth it. Sorry, okay? These, as long as they last, are, doing, are okay to me, all right? I mean... Like I said, the glass ones are probably better. These get hot, but they're still working down here. It is what it is. So that's just where we're at right now, okay? So one thing I want to look at definitely is um, I'm very curious to see what the inside of this plastic looks like. I have a screwdriver over here. Oh, by the way, remember that my heater comparison video? I still got that down here. And um, I'm going to see if maybe I can get the, um, get the screwdriver in here and just pry in here and maybe break off some of this plastic. I want to see... Um, Oh, I want to see what's behind here. I'm very curious. I don't know if there's a heat sink or something, but uh, yeah, let's get to that. So let me put this down and see if I can get uh, some of this plastic off here. All right, so I put it inside this hacksaw frame here just to um, just prevent it from rolling around. But yeah, I think I'm seeing metal behind here. Let's let's see what happens. Okay, that that was a complete fail on that part. Let me try that again. I didn't think of it rolling that way, did I? <laughs> Look at that. There's not much in there. It's all metal. So, wait a minute. L let me think about this now. If this, is this metal? Let me see. Um, I think it's metal. So, if that's the case, is this plastic on here just so you don't burn your hands on this metal? <laughs> I mean, now, now that I see it like this, I'm kind of thinking maybe that's what it's for. If it is, that's pretty hilarious if I'm honest. Let's see if we can get more of this off here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, the, 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 this bulb's already busted, so I'm, I don't mind breaking this stuff. Like I said, if something's working, even if, it's, even if it's modern, I hate to break it, but this isn't working anymore, so, you know, just have at, it, have at it, as they say. Let me go ahead and see if I can get more of this plastic off with the screwdriver. Well, this is about as much as I was able to, to, to get off of it, because um, it probably just separated from the heat, I guess. But yeah, Or maybe it dried out. Who the heck knows, but I mean... So, like, look at this. So, this is basically everything that I was able to get off of it. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is metal, so... Like, what would happen if this plastic wasn't on here? I mean, <clears throat> would this just, like, completely burn your hands? I mean, well, then again, like I said, 177 degrees Fahrenheit is not something you want to touch your hands on, especially if it was something like hot water. So, I mean, wow. I'm guessing this plastic was because of this metal here. Now that I see this, maybe I see why they don't make these bowls anymore. So, that is definitely something to, con to consider. That is very interesting. So, you know, like I said, we have the glass ones now that I replaced them with, and the ones in the basement and that lamp are still working. As long as they're working, I'm just going to leave them alone, you know what I'm saying? And the garage, too. So, but yeah, wow. So this is, um, that's pretty interesting to see. You know, I, I specifically remember a video by Jay. Well, actually, I don't, I don't know if it was a video or if, he, or if he talked to me about it when I was in his house. I can't remember, but he actually had an older CFL bulb that actually had vents along what would be this area here. So, how come the newer ones didn't have that? You know, that, that's a very interesting point um, I, I, that I think he was talking about when he talked about it. Yeah, like I said, the older CFL bulbs had vents around here and the newer ones didn't. wonder why that is. This would need one badly, especially because all the basement and the garage bulbs are like this. I mean, oh my gosh. Again, they don't get used all the time, all that much at all, so that's probably why they're still working, but wow. That's, uh, that's definitely something, let, let, me, let me tell you. And yeah, and like I said, the, the the glass bulbs in the um the glass bulb that's in the lamp now, it gets warm, but nothing like this was, not even close. So, wow. Anyway, I guess that's basically it. Nothing significant about this video, I guess. Um, or at least that I could think of, but just to show you that these these bulbs with these plastic bases, uh, yeah, I really don't think um they're designed very well. Even though I bought several of them, but again, that's all they had at the time. That was a hundred watt equivalent. But uh, yeah, there you guys go. So an eight-year-old bulb that was used every day, um, and hour, hours depending on the season it was. Yeah, wow, that's uh, and it, it was a it's in a climate-controlled environment even even too. So check that out, man. 
All right, well, there you guys go. I just wanted to show you a bulb that failed and showed you a way that it, um, in a way that I think was related to my video, link below, about um, temperatures with LED bulbs. That's, uh, that's definitely something else, man. Wow. <laughs> so, if you're going to get LED bulbs, guys, go with the glass ones, whether it's uh, EcoSmart or whatever. Well, I have good luck with that brand, honestly, but any other brand out there you may be good with, who knows. So, um, get glass ones, these plastic ones. They are definitely not... Um, they're, they're definitely not the kind you want to have. And even though this one did last eight years, like I said, the way it did this, that's definitely not a good sign, I don't think. So, yeah, there you go. All right, there you guys go. So if you have bulbs like this, be careful. Maybe check them once in a while. And if you've got to replace them, get glass ones, definitely. Thank you very much for watching, and take care.